Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Random Emerald, where we're going to fight this guy. Start it off with a bang, of course. This is a polka fan, and all he has is a skitty, which happens to be female. You fill in the gaps. Anyway, I've grinded a little so that Latias could learn Dragon Breath, which will be my attack of choice until we get to the next town. Look at that damage! It's powerful! For once. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Latias out for a little bit, and this guy will register us. I also fought the fisherman over there off screen. He didn't have anything interesting. You see, there's the water here. Uh, if we had something that was able to cross it, we could go over, but we can't. There's also this inlet here for no reason, but we'll have to see what's there later on. Until then, let's uh, go and get that item in the forest there that I kind of didn't see earlier. It's a little easier to see from the other side. Anyway, it's a guard spec. It, I think it protects you from status ailments for one turn? I forget. Something that's not useful. Anyway, before moving on, let's go into here. I am. There's a little sparkle there. What was that? Huh, it's a guy. Okay. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, it's, uh... It's not like I have any worldwide threat to get rid of. Oh my, yes. Let's go right in. They spotted us. Oh well. See, the trick house is full of uh, puzzles and trainers, so it's always useful to take a tour of it. It periodically gets new puzzles, um, but you have to progress through the game a little bit for them, so... Might as well do the first one now and uh, show off the other ones later. I want to get to Mauville first, but... Oh, but yeah, it's Mauville that we're going to, just so you know, but... Anyway, we need to cut through a bunch of trees. So, monotony abound! Oop, wrong way. The goal of the trick house is to find the scroll and then the door. The scroll has the password for the door. So that's how that works. And before we move on there, let's go find the scroll. The thing about the trick houses, though, is that once you complete the puzzle, you won't be able to do it again, so you should get all the items you see and fight all the trainers you see because they will not be encounterable later on. And they are very good for experience. Yes, they are. This last has a skitty. Probably more than one. I remember this person. Back in the day, when you only all you had was a male starter, you succumbed to cute charm all the time. That ability that infatuates you upon touch. Yeah, that. Anyway, I'm just gonna one-shot everything here. Why not? Yeah, that's some insane power. And again, I am a bit overleveled. Safety first. Eh, once she gets another level or and or runs out of power points, I'll probably switch to someone else. I want to see if I can catch one more thing for my party. And that'll be that. Alright, let's see. And that was fast. Pretty smart, huh? There. Let's get that item then. I hate missing things permanently, but it happens way too often. Alright, over here we have the item. An orange mail. Did I need that? No, I don't think so. But... Oh, well. I, I know there's a quest later on that requires you to get some mail for someone or something, but I forget. Anyway, let's fight this guy. That guy had a pair of zigzagoon. Nothing important. So the door is just past here. 
they get harder, trust me. Huh. He's very sure of himself. Alright. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, six places. And we get a rare candy for our efforts. That gives us a free level up. Alright. See you later, then. And we have to walk through this passage without our running shoes. And we have to do this every time, so... Once I leave here, I'm going to heal up and meet you back here, right here. See you soon, then. Alright, we're back. Let's talk to this lady. Well, of course you don't. You're a lady. Old lady at that. Anyway, we've got some grass here, so let's see what we might run into. And get a dire hit while we're at it. Increases your critical hit ratio, much like focus energy from before. And let's see if this youngster has anything of use. I would guess not, but... Oh! We have an Aron! That means that... The Pokémon I chose won't be too useful. Oh well. Switch out. Man, what's he gonna learn something new? Oh! Harden! Looks like we're gonna be here all day! Now. Nah. This is not a Metapod. Although, that might not do as much. Oh! It's still a two-shot, I guess. Not a one-shot, technically. But you get the picture. And an Electric. So let's uh, switch back to Spook then. Eh, at least I'm getting used to calling them by their actual names rather than their species. I know, I was calling it an Absol for a while there. Let's just scratch it. Haha! -ha! The odds of my getting a critical hit are no match for your defense, I suppose. Woo! Let's move along then. Oh, what does that sign say, actually? Oh, yeah. You can just move around. Thanks. Okay, what's this? Ooh, it's a combuskin. I'm not interested in that, though. I mean, it's kind of generic for Hoenn anyway. Anyway, let's move on then. It's May. What does she want? Uh. Oh, we don't have a choice this time? Screw you then! I'll kick your ass! Wingle. Wow, her levels are so much higher than anyone else around here. It's a good thing I trained. Alright, let's. Use Razor Wind for this one. Ha! Oh, I'm sorry, it's a little loud there. Ha <laughs> ha! You're no match for me. Alright, Bites! Let's get it! That's our first Dark type move, so. Um, we don't need Scratch anymore. Quick Attack is just as good. Bite has 60 power, I think, so that'll be useful. Probably pretty soon. Oh, Grovile. Yeah, we're fine. Let's keep on going. I mean, I don't think it has a fighting type or anything like that. That's the evolved form of Trico that we saw before. Let's just bite it. Pretty good. And we'll use our own quick attack. Yeah, it's about the same power, actually. Weird, but whatever. Uh, we got it. Bite also has a chance of making the opponent flinch, just like Twister. Nice. Uh, Slugma... Hmm. Nah, what's... whatever. We'll stay in. I got time. Nothing but. I like making these episodes long. It's fun. Oop, got burned. That was a sick burn there. Can't believe you'd do that to me. But we still win. Burn will steadily decrease your HP, and it lowers your attack power, so that's something to watch out for. I'll probably switch out to Nidorino then. And from her, we get the item finder, which lets us find those invisible items. It's a little hard to use in this version of this generation. 
Oh, she has a bike? Jerk. Anyway, Yoshi Star time. Let's continue moving on, then. Huh. A pair of trainers. Let's fight! I guess one's a collector and the other is a guitarist. That's a nice combo. We've got a Lombre and an Electric. Have we even seen a normal Lotad yet? I don't think so. That's weird, but whatever. Uh, you can target your opponents in a double battle, too. Not that you want to do that with an attack, but there might be something else useful. Like, if... Nah, I I'm sure you guys know about strategy plenty already. Yeah, let's just fight. Oh, they switch their stuff automatically. Neat. Nature power? Aw, oh, nuts. Mut I said nuts, didn't I? Oh, crap. The, the dogs are getting to me. Alright. I'll just dragon breath that Voltorb and see if I can peck the Lombre again. Nature power is a pretty rare move nowadays, but I like it. Ugh, how dare you. Uh, I guess I'll use a Cherry Berry and have Latias attack the other round. Just like that. Simple enough. I just have one more Pokemon of his to deal with. And that would be a Nuzleaf. Yeah, a Nuzleaf. I thought so. Oh, look how happy it is. Oh, whoops. Whoops! Let me do what I want! Yeah, that is some serious power. I'm gonna enjoy using a hair. Not in that way. It's a nice sum of money. Oh, well, see you later then. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't need to worry about that, though. Oh, a cyclist. And a psychic. I guess there's no avoiding them, so... I want that item. But I'll have to fight these guys for it. Actually, it might have been smarter to go the space just to the left of the item, so I wouldn't have to go around that guy in the grass. But then again, I kind of do want to run into something around here. Oh, that's a Magnemite. It's part Steel-type, so... One of the few things that resists Dragon-type moves, so... That's what I've got Yoshi Star's Double Kick for. I'll just kill that Abra there. Alright. I don't think he's going to learn a use... Yoshi Star there is going to learn a useful move for a while. They both had one Pokemon, I think, so... No problem there. Alright. Simple enough. Or... We could just pick... Oh, an Elixir. It's like an Aether, except for all your moves. Yeah, we could just go through there, so... And there's a hidden Pokeball here. I just checked that place out of... Uh, what would you call that? Intuition? Uh... It just looked like a place that might have had a place. Oh, Gengar. That might be a useful addition to my team, but... Uh, for the time being... I want to scope out all the areas around here. I think that fisherman will battle, but... I'm not in the mood. You've got some trees here. Nanab. They... Do nothing, so... I don't have to worry about that. Yeah! Yeah! No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, what you got here? Uh, a little. Without telling you. Man, it seems kind of mean. Oh, there's an item over here. Let's get it. It's next speed. Probably guess what that does. And while we're around here, let's, uh, I don't know, talk to people. Um, 
Oh, is that who I think it is? Wally! What are you doing here? How did he get so strong? Huh. Your Ralts? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? I've got nothing better to do. I mean, you're in my way. I'd like to challenge Jim. You haven't caught anything else, huh? Well, even though I'm a poison type, I should have no trouble beating this guy. Out. All it knows is growl. Or double team. That might be annoying, but as long as I can land one more move, I've got him. There we go. Simple as that. I told you guys he wouldn't be killing us later on in the game. I, th I, I, I thought you might believe me if I told you. Exactly not. Okay. So that's the way home, is it? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll go to Verdant Turf. Later on. Oh, it's Scott. Did you just come out of the game corner there? Of course you did. Yeah, a real Pokemon battle is about killing the opponent, no matter how helpless they are. Bye, then. Speaking of the game corner, this is where I want to go. You know why. Anyway, they have... Some coins. I don't have a coin case yet. I'll have to get one later. Uh, yeah. I need a coin case to do that. Where do I get a coin case? Well, there's a house in here. Around here somewhere. Oh, so she, so she wants some arbor mail. Why don't we go get some? Uh, but we might want to take a shortcut, so let's go in here and talk to the salesman, Rydell. Oh, thanks! Nah. Oh, no, 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 no! That's not what I meant to say! Uh, yeah. No, I, I knew what he wanted, but I'm, I'm just funny and... Um, I'm gonna go with Acro. Mach is faster, but I really don't care. <laughs> so, our bike is a key item, just like the rod. Yeah, just like the rod. Speaking of that, I need to fish on the route south of here, but... I'm gonna take care of all of that stuff, engage out the Pokémon around here, and meet you all back in Mauville next time on Let's Play Pokémon Random Emerald. Mark Spread, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all later.